Singapore's day. Going for an alter ego with a bob. I'll get one here and then. Oh, I have a secret to tell. It's. Okay, hi guys, and welcome back to the vlog, New York Fashion Week edition. We just landed in New York. I quickly got ready in the bathroom of the airport because Nat and I are off to fittings today. We landed really early in the morning. We have Michael Kors fitting today and Retrofit fitting today. I'm here for those two shows, obviously, and Carolina Herrera, so only three days in New York this time. It's always like very quick. I think I'm condensing my trips more and more as the years go by. But look, I see, oh, one second, <laughs> there's New York. So excited to be here. I think I'm setting an intention to do New York Fashion Week a little bit differently this trip. And I'll talk more about that throughout the vlog, I'm assuming. But just really focusing on having a good time, not letting myself get in my head, and just spending time with my friends. Emma and Sophie get into town tomorrow night, so we'll be with them for dinner. And then we're all attending the Michael Kors show together. We're going to maybe get ready together as well, I'm not sure, which will be fun. I'm fully in my look. I switched into jeans at the airport bathroom because you cannot pay me to wear jeans on a flight. I don't care how short the flight is from Toronto to New York, I will not be sitting on an airplane seat in jeans. Absolutely not. Fun fact, <laughs> before I log off, a year ago is when my Saturn return started. I remember being in New York, Feb of 2023 for Fashion Week and just like feeling a bit off with my purpose and just like what I was doing and the craziness of New York and just like very in tune of or very in tune with my feelings. And that kind of kick-started my Saturn return. I obviously just turned 30. It's a personality trait at this point, so I had to bring it up. But apparently Saturn return, if you guys don't know, it's when, or it happens between your 29th year to like 31st. A lot changes. It has to do something with astrology. I'm not big on like horoscopes and stuff like that. I just thought I would pay tribute to such a monumental <laughs> plot twist in my life. Okay, goodbye. We're in a tunnel again. You guys, look at that cheese pull. First order of business, bagels, we're black seed bagels. Going in, show me the cheese pull. Oh. Okay, breakfast is done. In the Uber on the way to Michael Kors. I am excited to see what I'm gonna be wearing to the show. I know Marco from the MK team said he's pulling some looks aside from me. So essentially, Marco is styling me. Hi Marco, if you're watching this. Wish us luck, Nat is working overtime, <laughs> literally overtime <laughs> on a Sunday, and is gonna show you guys everything behind the scenes as we try things on, etc. So, cheers, rats. <laughs> So we would do it with the belt and it would sit a little bit higher and kind of like yeah. cinch in the look. But I was also thinking like the camel could be cool yeah. and then there's a really cool gray look as well. So we can okay. try whatever. Yeah, I would love to try this. I think it's very chic. Why don't we start with that? Okay. And then go from there. Perfect. It's so cute and so comfy. Oh, you have to see the belt makes it. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It's a vibe. Oh, and the shoes are great. Like, you don't really yeah. need to even do anything for the length. That's Super so cheap. stunning. It's always the first one, too, I feel like. It's like a wedding dress. Yeah. The first one's the one, right? Yeah. 
I'm still leaning towards the other one. I, I will like, say I'm, it might also snow on the show day. Yeah, so well, it's be warm. I feel like I can just leave the in the mid set. Like that. Yeah, exactly. But this is just a really cute look. There's, I think, we, I think we have our answer. Then. I like yeah. the first one, you. Yeah. I'll get one here and then. We just left the Michael Kors fitting. I'm actually really excited about my look. I think it's very New York and it's very Michael Kors. So I need to figure out now hair and makeup for this look. TBH not. I think I should keep my hair like tucked in. Anyway, what I'm hopping on to say is as we're leaving the building, the one and only Irina Shake walks through the door okay and she's like in a full black look like leather trench slicked back hair black sunnies and the way she commanded that doorway was inspo she is the vibe for new york fashion week she is embodying the confidence that i'm aspiring for okay so thought i'd share on to the next fitting for retrofit we're on the way right now it's 2 20 we were just saying how fast the day has gone by already like i woke up at 6 and it feels like that was two hours ago. Last fitting and then we're gonna go to the room. I have to try on the Carolina look as well that I know arrived to the hotel. And then I think we're gonna shoot some MYB stuff for the planner. The hotel's super cute. We're staying at the Ned with Planin, which I'll tell you all about a little bit later when I have a moment <laughs> to think. But gonna bring you along. See you there. Hi, Pico. Hi. <laughs> Why are you eating daddy's slipper? I feel like no one shows up on time during New York Fashion Week and I don't either ever. So, first time's a charm, we're a minute early. Do I need to tell you my thoughts or does my face say it all? I think it's really cool. Okay, option two. I like it, but I don't think it touches silver mm -mm. moment, right? No, the silver, definitely. Should I try the or no? Yes, you should. Okay. We all want to see it. Third option. I mean, I love. Okay. I think silver. Silver. It's, the one. it's always the first one. <laughs> it's big. It's huge. hope you're enjoying your stay with us if there's anything we can do to make your stay extra comfortable please do not hesitate to let me know claude claude thank you babe i'm okay, so, so excited this is the carolina look we have not seen it yet these are so cute oh i see cheetah i see london i see france i see someone's underpants okay the bag oh very so cute. cute. This is the coat. This is the star of the show. It's very like mature. She's giving, say it with me, 30. <laughs> What's this? Ooh, perfume. It's a good girl perfume. Sunnies? These are cute. We got fun things. I guess I claim this bed, hey? It's like a keychain. <gasps> Stop, that's so cute. I should incorporate this into the look. No, maybe? It's like your makeup to go. <gasps> that is so smart. Okay, I'm trying on the look for Carolina. This is very different than my style, but in a way, also where I wanna be with my style. Like this is very clean and chic. I actually love this. But look how cute it is. We love belting and snapping the waist. Let me get my coat. Yes. And, or this is one vibe. Mm, yeah. Carolina show. Natasha is serving work. 
with an E. And I'm really excited for the show. I was actually just saying on stories, so I thought I'd repeat here, how it's so funny with New York Fashion Week that no matter what you have on your schedule, social media will always make you feel like someone else has it better or is going to better shows, has better seats, better opportunities, and it just is so distracting and just takes away from your experience. You almost forget to be grateful and to enjoy what you do have and where you are at and it's just no way to live and usually during fashion week i get pretty bad like social anxiety or imposter syndrome and i just set the intention for this trip to be different to just have a good time be present i did my own makeup which i don't know when i started thinking that i need glam for everything and i also think with this look i really wanted a natural glam like a natural makeup look um so anyway it's just a different approach this week that i have and i've been really enjoying it yeah let's go to the show I got my angel now. okay back from the carolina show that was Orange. I'm sure you guys would have seen my little iPhone footage. So beautiful. Carolina's daughter was sitting right in front and she was so casual. I think she did her own makeup too. There's a trend going on and funny enough, I actually got compliments on my makeup. I actually felt really good that I did it myself. I felt more like light and like me. But anyway, now I'm starving and I think my coffee from earlier in the morning is like kicking in and I'm like jittery and Anna Winter was there with her sunnies on so chic i wonder if she gets a cut to her bob like every day to keep it at the exact same length like a little dusting probably you know, I wanna know who um it was a really nice show the carolina pieces are actually like stunning they're so feminine and beautiful there was a bunch of like rhinestones really big shoulders a really pretty nat look <laughs> It was like pink fluff. I called it a uh, nat look for you. Uh, like, insert footage here. Yeah, it was beautiful. And I met um, the girl next to me was a content creator from Chile, Chile, who's a model, a journalist, just fun fact. Mm. People were nice, you know? Saw some friends and now we are going to the hotel and back to get a bagel because a bagel a day keeps the doctor away. That does. Signing out. Okay, we are in the car on our way to the retrofet show i did my own hair and makeup today well technically priya did the base and i put it up but i am very excited for the show one of my favorite brands obviously i just wore them for my birthday so i'm excited to go support and represent but um this is the look actually you can't even see the look <laughs> but you will I do not want to go out for dinner, but Emma and Sophie just landed in town. Santa Claus is in town. We're going out to celebrate Emma's mom's birthday, who's here with Emma and Sophie. They all just landed. We're all staying at different hotels for the first time. It's very mature of us. Like, we're all adults staying in our own hotel rooms with our own teams, not cramming in one king-size bed together. <laughs> We've come a long way. <laughs> But um, I think we are gonna go out for some dinner and drinks. Although I did have dough on the juice, I just couldn't wait. And I truly love this dress so much, but I can't wait to get out of it. The show was absolutely amazing. It really was giving Mind Your Business. The whole vibe was very boss, woman empowerment, slay. I'm so sorry, I have no words. They had two outfits that were my absolute favorite. It was essentially a take on like a suit but it was really cool gloves made out of the suit material with a watch over it and like short sleeves and a mini skirt and then a corset and a long pencil skirt. It was so good. I actually met the designer behind um, Retrofet, Ohad, which was really nice. I did not have a martini, so I guess I'm gonna go have one tonight instead. Although all I really wanna do is get in the shower, take off my makeup, put on my jammies, and go to sleep. Nat just arrived with the goods. Told you guys, 
A bagel a day keeps the doctor away. Also, this is the weather today, and I'm wearing sandals for Michael Kors, so. I actually feel great. I'm like not exhausted. Mm -hmm. I mean, I am a little bit, but. <laughs> But I did sleep, which is nice. Michael Kors day. You guys, I showed Britt this makeup inspo today. Okay, black and white. Next one, black and white. Next one's like blurry. <laughs> but what we're going for is like a 90s, like slept in makeup look, like a little bit sultry, a little bit like guest campaign, pouty lip, very bright under eyes, and like a little bit of a smudged, almost like a smudged eyeliner look. But I love that I pulled up like a blurry photo and I was like, I want this. This is what I want. Oh. oh oh my god <gasps> looks so good I'm obsessed. oh my god it looks so good i love the texture yeah so effortless. <gasps> i'm excited to put on the outfit and see it all together oh my god we're really giving Brid bridget bardot with the makeup the and like, the doll eyes yeah. and the big hair glam is done guys if this was giving slept in my makeup i would never take my makeup off again <laughs> bye besties bye. Love you so much. Have I'm so actually much so fun. sad that you're leaving. Guys, glam is the best part of New York Fashion I'll Week. See you, soon. see you guys soon. Bye. 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 Already for the Michael Kors show, you guys, I am going for an alter ego with a bob. Okay, here's the thing. I'm kind of torn because on one hand, this feels like a fashion brisk. It really just brings the whole look together. You know what I mean? Like, I need something chic, something sleek. And I feel like this is it. I could take it out. I feel like I need to be bold. My hair is always down. This feels like something I could regret not doing. I could also regret if the photos turn out weird. But also, Nat and I just took some and I think it's cute. I wish you guys watching this could vote in real time and let me know. But this is my look for the show. I'm essentially wearing a turtleneck set. The pants are bell bottoms. Oh yeah, look at the heels, crazy. Wearing this really cool chic belt. And then the bob. We're serving a bob tonight, ladies. What's on the menu? Bob. That was great. You look amazing. So do you. you look good. Hi, Dana Rose. Hi, how, how are, are you? So nice to see you. you. I'm so comfy. Hi. Hey, you look so good. p.m. Oh my gosh, I'm running super late to my Galentine's Day dinner. I don't know what has gotten into me this afternoon. I also thought our reservation was 9.15, but anyway, after the show, I needed to lie down in bed and be dead to the world and not talk to anyone for like a good hour. You have to, I, almost like recharging my social battery from getting ready in the morning to photos, to arriving, to the photographers, to the show, to like, being in your head, a show like this takes so much out of me and I'm just like exhausted and drained afterwards. Obviously also fueled because of the excitement and I was so excited to attend the Michael Kors show today. I felt so grateful to be in the room. The show is amazing. It's one of the most iconic New York Fashion Week shows and there were very iconic people there. The designs were iconic and Michael himself was there. But anyway, uh, the last few hours were just like a blur, but now we're on our way to Galentine's Day dinner. I am fully repping Galentine's Day head to toe. I'm meeting with Emma and Sophie and Alex and Dana. Nat is here as well. Nat, how are you doing? How is the behind the scenes of New York Fashion Week? Probably the coolest thing I've ever done in my life. False. But also, but also <laughs> the most tiring because of all of the adrenaline. I thrive off of the energy. It really is absolute chaos. And here's the thing, we had a great week. I don't even week, oh my god, we've been here for like three days. Yeah. We weren't even that busy. I was really selective with the shows and the things that I was gonna go to, but still, it's like no matter what you go to, you're always so like running around, things are chaotic, just the energy. Honestly, it's the energy around New York Fashion Week that's just like crazy and it is an experience. Anyway, okay, I'm done talking, done ranting. 
See you at dinner. Girl dinner. Valentine's with the misses. Like and the miss, Sophie Sukin, and the miss Emma Rose. Miss Dana Barton, the miss Alec Alboy. And Miss Natasha, Natasha Tennyson. Tennyson. Alex wow. amazing. Wow. Oh, 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 w